Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bite here with my Novlomo for this is Saturday's Overdue one. And um, I'm going to tell you about some of the games I played. Um, <clears throat> it's already noon and I just woke up because we were at a film festival thing that started at midnight. Uh, it's really neat, this kind of amateur film stuff. Uh, it's a Pacific Northwest thing, I think. Um, so, yesterday we tried out Tiny Epic Galaxies for the first time. And it's definitely got good bones. Uh, just like Tiny Epic Kingdoms, it was kind of like, okay, I, I get the mechanic, and then you're waiting to see kind of the extras that are added on with a successful campaign, which is kind of Gamelin's thing these days. So I'm cool with that. Like, I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's just is the way it is. So a basic idea is you decide whether you want to just land on planets and take quick effects and resources or if you want to level up on planets to gain them and take their victory points and um, it's an interesting one you can fight other people for the planets um, and they, they range in points from 1 to 7, I think. I think that was the highest we found. And their abilities are sometimes bananas, sometimes not so good. Uh, the dice mechanic is basically roll an amount of dice equal to how far you've leveled up. Um, so there's this sheet over here, and you level up and it gives you extra dice and ships. And once during your turn, you can re-roll your dice. Um, any ones that you haven't activated, you can activate them in any order. And any time you can pay an energy to re-roll your dice. Uh, so that made for some nice decisions and you didn't really feel that screwed over by your dice. Um, the only thing you get really screwed over by is other people fighting you on planets. But I, I'm really looking forward to a multiplayer game of this because I don't, I'll be honest, it did not strike me as a two-player when we played it. But we'll see, maybe I'm wrong. Well, and the amount of stuff they usually add on their campaigns is bonkers, so I'm always interested in in what they could add for the two-player. Um, after that, we went to, so that was yesterday morning, and then in the evening we went to uh, a local game store here. It's Blue Highway Games, and they do this cool thing. It's called Essen Fest, where they've sent someone off to Essen to grab games for the store. So they've got a bunch of games coming back, but what they do is in their suitcases they bring over a bunch of demos. So they had about 20 demos and because during Essen I didn't play many games I was really interested in heading over and getting some gaming in. Um, I got off work a little too late to do much but we got to play Aquasphere! It was so cool. Um, Aquasphere was amazing. Uh, took me like two turns to grok it and then it totally made sense just like a felt. Um, and I ended up losing pretty hard because I just my last round, so there's there's a set number of rounds, I think it's five, and in my last round I just resource screwed myself over. I took one action and it just did not allow me to chain off of that. And I think Brian was 15 points down when we, when we went into the last round and he won by 25 points. There, I just majorly screwed that up. I was ahead the whole time and I didn't have this like really strong last turn where you can definitely set those up. So it was my own fault. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting my copy I'm probably, when I'm done here, going to go check uh, the TMG Kickstarter's updates to see if they have a scheduled release yet. Because I should have just bought a copy and sold my TMG one. I'm so mad at myself. But it's no big deal. Uh, yeah, so that was yesterday's gamings. Uh, today I'm packing to head to BGG Con, so I'm mostly going to do laundry. But I would imagine Brian and I will play at least a game. Um, I'd like to get a Hyperborea in with two. I would also like to play some more Ortis with the special abilities. Ortis was that two-player abstract that I had with the funky hats. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to go record my number three in my top ten. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry I failed. Keep up.